So yesterday I did a video talking about like both the Fire Nation and Earth Empire. What would it be like if they if they were in Warhammer the Old World? And in that video I talked about them fighting, like if they could have a chance of like, fighting and winning in the Old World. But the thing of it is, is like I don't think that uh, the cards, w the stars wouldn't exactly align for any of them really. But this time around, I'm going to put another Avatar faction, and by this point, I'm probably going to do the Air Nomads next. But essentially, what what this is is, um, as you can see, could the Water Tribe survive in Warhammer: The Old World? That's the big question. So we're going to put both the South and Northern Water Tribes. And what would it be like if we took them and put them in Warhammer the Old World? So, let's get started. So the big thing is, is that both the water, uh, both water tribes were pretty isolationist for the most part. If we're going to go by, like, let's say, uh, let's make it a little more easier for everybody and have it be, like, Legend of Korra era water tribe, but not have Unalak leading the Northern Water Tribe. Let's have it be Eska and Desna. Uh, because because uh, because fucking because uh, fucking Unalak would um, he would just literally fall to chaos. Like he would he would pledge himself to the uh, to the uh, ruinous powers in a heartbeat. There's no doubt about that. So let's say Desna and Eska, and I do feel like uh, like for some reason I don't think um, Desna and Eska would fall to chaos for some reason i just don't like they would be so bo like bored at the idea of, of falling to chaos they wouldn't do it like there's something about it i don't know so we're also going to take Korra out of the equation too um so it's just legend of Korra era water tribe there's uh, their ships are a little more advanced their military is a little stronger but they're still kind of keeping that kind of isolation feel to it now the big thing with the Water Tribe is that they're not, unlike the Earth Empire or the Fire Nation, um, these guys aren't really like a hostile race, now that Unalak's gone. The Water Tribe, uh, like, the Water Tribes are very, ne they're very neutral. So they're not going to try to, like, invade or, or do battle with, you know, declare open war on, like, I don't know, the Empire of Man or, or Cathay or anything like that. I do see, however, they would be interested in trade. Uh, the Water Tribe is very interested in trade. Like, they would be open to the idea of trading with other nations. I could definitely see them trading with the High Elves, the Empire of Man. But one race, I think they would have a tight relationship because with because they would be kind of neighbors. I think there would be a tight relationship between them and Kislev. Kislev and the Water Tribe, especially the uh, both Water Tribes, I think they would literally be like bros. Kislev, um, Kislev would probably be the first ones to encounter the Water Tribe and be like, hello friends, Woodga, <laughs> you, you drink, you, you drink it. I think that's how they would talk to, just talk down to them and, and then the Water Tribe would be like, yes, we know what alcohol is. Don't patronize an asshole. <laughs> so, I do see that out of all the factions, Kislev would be their closest ally for a multitude of reasons. Trade, um, uh, alliances, economy, all of that. And also you're going to need someone big to uh, be in your corner for the Water Tribe. Because if there's one thing that I think the Water Tribe is going to be running into in terms of danger, it's the Nords. The Nords would be their biggest... Like... Kislev would be their biggest ally in the north, but their biggest enemy would be the Nords themselves. The Nords would be co would be a constant terror to both water tribe. Uh, like I think the southern water tribe would be fine for the most part. They're pretty far out; no one's going to bother them. But the northern water tribe, they are going to be under constant attack by the Nords, and they are going to be constantly under threat by them and the ruinous powers that they uh, that they are a part of. So. Having Kislev in their corner, who is also like a another major opponent of the Nords, that's going to be very important of having Kislev as an important ally. The other thing is too is that it's really hard to siege the Northern Water Tribe. The um, <laughs> the Northern Water Tribe held off of invade a naval invasion of the uh, Fire Nation hundreds of years ago, and that mil and you know you got to get to the Water Tribe by water. 
So, you know, the thing they control. So their master waterbenders are without question. So these guys are going to be, like, picking up Nord boats and just throwing them down. Now, as to do other races, how they would interact, the Skaven don't really like the cold, but they'll invade anyway. Trust me, those little crackheads, will, those little magic crackheads will do anything in their power to, you know, take whatever they want. They're going to try their damnedest to, you know, invade the north and try to figure something out. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so there's no doubt in my mind that the Skaven would try to, like, invade, like, in invade. The orcs would probably get a kick out of it, although they're not really great at shipbuilding. The dwarves, I don't see them as an adversary. I see them as like a good a as an ally to have. The chaos dwarves, on the other hand, the chaos dwarves would be kind of a terror to them. Um, I do see that. I think Cathay would probably be, like be a reasonable ally. The Tomb Kings, they would be so far away from the Tomb Kings. I don't think that'd be a problem unless, like, I don't know, Setra decided I want the North now. Then it's a problem, but I don't see that happening. The Empire of Man and the Elves. I think the High Elves and the Empire of Man. I think there would be like a like some nice trade agreement between them. The Vampires of Sylvania would. I don't think they could. They would get that far. But again, Manfred von Karstein is a very you know when he puts his mind to something, even if it's a horrible idea, he's gonna do it. Like Manfred Manfred von Karstein is going to be like if he really wanted the North, he's gonna take it. But I don't see that happening. Again, the dark the dark elves. I don't think they would have anything, any any need of it. Really, they don't. They're at war. They wouldn't see that as a place to conquer. Orcs, trolls, ogres. Yeah, they could try to get up there, but it's going to be a hell of a time fighting their way up there. But again, when they find out that the, there's people up there that can fight with their fight with water, and they'll be like, these hum these water humies is pretty fun. <laughs> Days a good fight. So, you got that going for you. But again, the biggest enemy the uh, the water tribes are going to be encountering are the Nords. They're going to be ballistic. They have chaos uh, at their side. They have, um, of course, you know, their ships are pretty powerful in their own right. And, you know, a, an ice wall can only do so much against a giant fucking mammoth. So... You got that going for you. And, again, they could easily have, you know, chaos influence the whole world around, like, around the water tribes. And, again, the southern water tribe is very isolated, is pretty isolationist, so they they are cut off from their northern brothers. So if anything goes south, they gotta get a, some backup from somebody other than the northern water tribe. And I think water tribe warriors would be willing to join you know, either, you know, be conscripted, not conscripted, but, you know, join in the fight like, um, Tonrod did, or, you know, a a Katara and Sokka's father did, where they would join, willingly join the, um, the war, um, against, you know, they'd probably join the, the Empire of Man and help keep, like, trade vessels safe. Something like that. Anyway, um, yeah. I think it would be. I think they have a chance to survive. But again, their biggest adver adversary would be the Norns. But I think if they keep if they keep Kislev happy in trade as well as alliances, I think they'll be safe. I think if they have Kislev in their corner, then they're good, for the most part. Again, it's real. Like it'd be the Nords are pretty fucking um, deter they, determined is not the right word, but it's pretty damn close. So yeah. I think as long as they, if they make an alliance with Kislev, the water tribes are safe. Northern, at least. I don't know about the southern water tribe. They would have to, like, branch out and find somebody else, because there's no way they're getting help from the north and in these waters. But you guys tell me in the top comments below, what do you guys think it would be like, could the water tribes survive in Warhammer the Old World? Just comment below, let me know. Other than that, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in Multiverse.